This lesson is on translating words into math. Okay, so um, as you read some word problems or things like that, you may see key words that would tell you, okay, well, you're going to use this operation and you're going to use this number to solve this problem. So some of those key words for addition, you see, you'll see add, plus, sum, more than, increased by. And this is the verbal expressions. These are the words. And you're going to learn to translate words into math. So this over here would be the algebraic expression, the math, that you would write down. So if you add 3 to a number, that number is going to be represented by a variable. So if you add 3 to a number, it'll be n plus 3. Now you could put any variable there. It could be z plus 3, it could be x plus 3, k plus 3, whatever number you choose. A number plus 3, the sum of a number and 3, and so on. Some of those keywords for subtraction include subtract, minus, difference, less than, decrease by, take away, and so on, and less. Okay, that was your words. If you wanted to translate these phrases into math, it would be x minus 12, for x being represent, representing the number. Now, one key thing I want you to remember here is a lot of times you can just write it as it said. So, like this one says a number minus 12, that is a number minus 12. Now, you'll see this one here a lot, less than. This one says 12 less than a number. If you were to write 12 minus x, that would not be correct. So I always, when I say less than, it's like you're take, you have a number, and you're going to have 12 less than that number. You're going to take 12 away. So it would be x minus 12. I always had to think backwards there. Okay, so multiplying, you'll see times, multiplied, and product. Remember, the product is the answer of a multiplication problem. Now, remember, you can represent that by a dot. Um, if you're working with variables, I would not work with x because that could be confusing. Also, if there's nothing in between the number and the letter, that means that you're multiplying. Division, keywords include divided and quotient. Remember that quotient is the answer to a division problem. I would definitely write this down. This is kind of a little cheat sheet. You can't use it on your test, of course, but it can definitely be helpful in studying. Okay, what about equals? You'll see problems such as this that you'll see is equal to, is, equals. That means you probably should write an equal sign in that equation. Okay, so example number one. We're going to translate all of these into math. So we're going to write the phrase as an algebraic expression. So we're going to look at the product of 20 and t. Now we're given a letter here, a variable. So that's the one that we're going to use. Now we're going to look at our keyword. Our keyword is product. That means we're going to multiply 20 and t. So there's our answer. 20, the product of 20 and t. Example number two, we're going to do the same thing. Translate these words into math. We have 24 less than a number. Now remember, this is the one that I told you to watch out for. If you have 24 less than a number, that means you're going to take 24 away from a number. So you'll have a number minus 24. You're taking it's 24 less than that number. going to do the same thing here. We have the sum of 4 times a number and 2 is 64. Now let's look at this one. Let's look at our keywords. We have sum. We know we're going to add 4 times a number and 2. So we're adding 4 times a number plus 2. So 4 times a number could be represented by 4 times a variable. We're going to add 2 and is is our keyword is going to be equal to 64. So how would we write that? It would look like this. 
we have 4 times a number, 4 times x, plus 2, because it's the sum of 4 times a number, and 2 is 64. Okay, now here we're going to go backwards. We're going to write each expression or equation that we see in two words. So you could write this several ways, and you may can write it more than I give. You're adding 5 and x, so you can put the sum of 5 and a number, 5 plus a number, 5 plus x. There is probably more. Okay, we're going to write this expression or equation in two words. You can write it more than one, to, one way. You could say the quotient of a number in 8, n divided by 8, or 8 divided into a number. Okay, I want you to try these on your own and see what you can do.